Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for those that have woken up this morning and that have chosen to plug in into the source of power. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for the month of March. Welcome, welcome, wherever you're tuning in from. I want to invite you immediately to start sharing the broadcast. Share it on your timeline. Share it to all the groups that you belong to. Share it to your friends and family. Call somebody that you're driving with. Tell them to take out those earphones and let them listen in with you and and pray along with me and make sure that you shout that amen so that we stand in agreement together in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you are on YouTube, you are also welcome. If you are tuning in from TikTok, you are welcome. This is commanding your morning or commanding your month of March. Hallelujah. We, it is important that we speak into our month. And this morning when this um, the day started for me, I asked God, I said, God, what is the next stage? What is the next level? I've been meditating on open doors. What is the next level? He said, use the key of declaration. So the word for the month for me and for you, if you want to appropriate it is declare it. Hallelujah. Because from declaration comes manifestation. Hallelujah. The more we declare the word of God, the more we are encouraged, the more, um, it, it continues to rise inside of us. Hallelujah. Many times I see that as believers, we are walking with our heads bowed low. Uh, we are walking in a state of confusion. Hallelujah. But God is there to remind us who we are. God is there to remind us that we are more than conquerors. Hallelujah. So we should not walk around in a cloud of forgetfulness of who we are. We need to come to the realization that God has positioned us to be above all things. And he who is above definitely will ensure that we manifest and we get what we are asking for. The month of March is a beautiful man month. As I said, this is my birth month, but all of us can make sure that we are moving into the next level by saying these declarations that I'm about to start. So we are going to pray together. Let's just begin by thanking God and worshiping him and just praising him. Thank him that you woke up this morning. Thank him if you are in a different time zone, that you're about to go to sleep and your day has been favored. Maybe your day did not go so well. The Bible says that weeping may last for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Therefore, definitely your morning has come by virtue of you being listening to this broadcast at this moment. Your, your joy has come. Hallelujah. Joy has come to wipe away your tears. Joy has come to wipe away any form of weeping whatsoever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, I thank you. In the name of Jesus, I stand to command this morning. I did declare it is a new day. I am standing to command the month of March. I declare it is a new month. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over this day. I take authority over the month of March in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree that every element of my day and month shall cooperate with purpose and destiny. Today is the dawning of a new day. Today is the dawning of a new month. Our seasons of frustrations and failures are over and in we walk in a season of success and prosperity. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare and we decree that old things have passed away and all things have become new. Today, we press towards the mark of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Anything or anyone assigned to undermine, frustrate or hinder or hurt us, my God, I command them to be moved out of our sphere of influence in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we command the month of March to fully cooperate with your plan and purpose for it. We greet the month of March today with great anticipation of the good things that you have prepared for us. In the name of Jesus, we decree and we declare that it is a new month that is dawning for us as a ministry. It is a new month that is dawning for our jobs. That It is a new month that is dawning for our businesses, for our finances 
finances, for our relationships, for our health. It is a new dawning in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we download success. We download prosperity. We download health. We download wealth. We download vision. Father God, we receive direction. We receive ingenuity. We receive creativity where we need to apply it. We receive spiritual growth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare in the month of March, we walk in holiness. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare that we are the righteousness of God. In the month of March, in the mighty name of Jesus, we declare peace shall reign in our lives, in our families, in everywhere we are, in every atmosphere, situation where we find ourselves. Our environments are peaceful. We thank you, Lord, that you are bringing resourcefulness to our spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, we thank you, Lord. We draw all this from your spirit into our month of March. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have a fresh excitement in Jesus' mighty name. We walk into the month of March with a fresh mind. We charge forth like soldiers, Holy Ghost, with a fresh zeal, my God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we have a fresh anointing. We move with a fresh anointing that is uncontaminated. We move with an anointing that is uncompromised. In the mighty name of Jesus, by this anointing, Lord, every yoke is broken from our life. I said every yoke is broken from your life. It is destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus, every burden is lifted. Every burden is lifted. His yoke is easy and his burden is light. All powerful God, we ask you to place your anointing upon us. In the mighty name of Jesus, the anointing that is on our lives in the month of March, my God repels every individual with a diabolical assignment. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the anointing flow uncontaminated and unhindered upon our lives. The anointing that is on our life for this season, my God, the anointing that is on our lives for our mission, our mandate, our purpose, Lord, will attract only those with divinely ordained assignments in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we ask you to please place the following anointing upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask that you help us to flow in the intercessory prayer anointings with the evidence of, of seeing signs, wonders, and miracles, manifestations, my God. Give us the empowerment that we need for spiritual warfare in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the month of March, we will walk in the purpose-driven life. In the name of Jesus, I declare and I decree that everybody who's listening to the sound of my voice will move with an anointing of Solomon, my God, to have the mindset and the ability to manage their resources very well. They will manage their wisdom well. They will manage their wealth and their success, and they will be prosperous as your word declares, my God, that you desire above all things, my God, that we prosper and we are in good health in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, in the month of March, like Isaac, Father God, we will invest, my my God, we will increase our investments and we will invest and have more assets, my God. That person that is believing you for a house, that person that is believing you for whatever it is, maybe they want, they're trusting you for a car, my God. Let it come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we declare and we decree that we will manage our finances accordingly. We have the required financial acumen in the name of Jesus. In the month of March, my God, we are having the sense sensitivity and obedience to obey your word. We will hear your word and, and we will hear your voice. Father God, we are your sheep. We will not be confused as to the word that we are following in the name of Jesus. Father God, you gave Daniel the divine favor. Um, for government, my God, for excellence and integrity. Therefore, Lord, we declare and we decree that in the month of March, God, we move with the spirit of excellence. We move with the spirit of integrity in our businesses, in our deals, everything that we shall do, my God, we shall move in, in, in excellence. Father God, we will be able to be in charge and govern in the way you want us to govern, my God. Father, we thank you, Lord, for the Esther anointing that is flowing into our lives, my God, for divine favor and 
kingdom strategies that you want us to have. Holy Spirit, we declare that we take over all areas of life, political, business, economic. Lord, you are giving us the strategies, those that you have positioned in political organizations, in government offices, Father God. Empower them, my God, so that they can see that there is something different about us. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, those of us who are, as we engage in spiritual warfare through the month of March, as we contend with our contenders, Father God, yes, Lord, you have said in your word that you, you have opened a great door, an effectual door for us, but great are the adversaries that are there. There are many adversaries. Lord, you are empowering us to conquer our adversaries, my God. Lord, you will give us the anointing for warfare to deal with those adversaries. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we will come out prosperous with success. In the name of Jesus, God. God, we thank you, Lord, that in the month of March, we are taking over and pioneering new territories in the name of Jesus. We will take over the real estate market, Father God. We will acquire new houses in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for intergenerational covenant blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, I declare and I decree that that person that is listening to me right now, in the mighty name of Jesus God, in the mighty name of Jesus God, Father, they will become a trailblazer in everything that they are doing. My God, somebody who is a fashion designer will become a trailblazer. Somebody who is in the movie industry will become a trailblazer. Whatever it is, Lord, that they are engaged with, Father God, set them apart and show them off as leaders, my God. You have said we are above and not beneath, Father God. Therefore, help us to lead in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we thank you, Lord, that in the month of March, we will worship you in truth and in spirit. Give us the authentic worshiping anointing of Ezra, Lord, to worship you as our true and living God in the name of Jesus. We declare that we are flowing in the De Deborah anointing for balance. We are flowing in the anointing for worship and praise in the way that you want us to worship and praise you, God. Thank you, Lord, for apostolic revelations that will come forth, Father God. Everybody that will minister on this broadcast, Father God, will bring fresh revelations that will move us forward into manifestation in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you for the prophetic accuracy and insights in this ministry, Father God, like the prophet Elijah, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, Lord, for destiny helpers. We thank you, Lord, for the anointing for servanthood, my God, that we will all so be there with the heart of servanthood for ministerial expansion for, 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 for so that the church can grow, my God. Let us win more souls, my God, and bring many out of the kingdom of darkness into your marvelous light. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the church of God shall march on and it shall grow. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, there will be succession. The devil's kingdom will be depopulated in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for your double portion, my God. In the name of Jesus, we receive that double portion anointing that we take over our jurisdictions with power and authority, Father God. We take over the power and authority of every place that we are resident in and that we are staying in, my God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, no principality shall speak above what you speak. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you for raising powerful intercessors. Therefore, we thank you for the anointing of intercession in the month of March in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, that you are bringing innovative ideas to us. We are advancing technologically, Father God. You are helping every business person to advance, Father God, to keep up with, 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 with what we need so that the world can see that we, we serve a God of advancement in the mighty name of Jesus. We are anointed, Father God. We are your disciples, Lord. We have a teachable spirit, Lord. Yes, Lord, thank you for the anointing for learning new things. The anointing anointing of a teachable spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. We are taking over our intellectual growth, Father God. We are growing, my God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for fruitfulness. Thank you for dominion in the month of March. Thank you, Lord. We move with the Jabez anointing. Thank you, Lord, for expanding our territories in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The Lord will continue to take pleasure in you. He will beautify you and, and, and remove your ashes. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, he will replace that, that, that garment uh, uh, with a garment of 
praise for your spirit of heaviness in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we thank you. We thank you by the power of God. Henceforth, we will never fail. Henceforth, we will never lack. Henceforth, we will never fail. We will never fail. We will not borrow, my God. In the month of March, we will not borrow. We will not weep. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare and I decree that we will not be put to shame. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, every morning in the month of March, Lord, thank you for blessing us. Thank you, Jesus, in the mighty name of of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that you have set before us an open door that no man can shut, that you have stretched out your hand to help us, Lord, where we need it. So we stand on your word in Revelation 3, 8, Lord. No one can stop us. We are unstoppable in the name of Jesus. We declare and we decree that no one can stand against us, Father God. Thank you, Lord, for all the keys that you have given us, little keys, big keys that will open big doors for us. Thank you, Lord, that you have crowned our life, our efforts with big success in the name of Jesus. In the month of March, Lord, our names shall be mentioned and remembered for favor and honor. I said your name will be remembered in the month of March for favor and honor. That is what people will remember you for. They will not remember you for begging, but they will remember you for favor and honor in the name of Jesus by your scriptures, mighty God, by your promises in Isaiah 61 verse 3, Lord, I declare and I decree that you are our strong tower and support. Thank you, Lord, that you will maintain and manage us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Christ. You will multiply our success in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord shall break every barrier that is keeping you from entering into a new realm of blessing. In the month of March, you will experience new mercies and grace in all areas of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord shall lift you up above the attacks of the adversary. The Lord shall lift you up above all the attacks of the adversary. You shall receive grace to be sober, vigilant against any ensnarement and traps of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says the righteous cries and the Lord will hear them. Therefore, in your crying, the Lord has heard you and the Lord will deliver you in out of your troubles in the mighty name of Jesus. So I declare that this is your moment that you rejoice for your deliverance is on the way. Your deliverance is at hand in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not end in sorrow in the name of Jesus. Whatever the Lord chooses you to bless you within the month of March, he will add no sorrow to it because the blessings of the Lord add no sorrow. You do not need to envy other people in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that you will enlighten that person's mind. You will enlighten our minds as well, my God, so that we don't run out of ideas, Father God. Thank you for opening up the windows of heaven and pouring out a blessing that we have. We cannot even phantom or, 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 or even think of, Father God. Give us ideas, my God, uh, to produce, to create in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, that you are giving us divine insight into those things that look obscure. Thank you, Lord, for showing us the hidden secrets. Our lives will not result in ridicule, but our lives will result in the miraculous. The joy of the Lord is our strength in adversity. Thank you, Lord, that you will cause our ears to only hear good news in the month of March. In the mighty name of Jesus, in our most moments of weakness, everything will work together for our good. In the mighty name of Jesus, God will walk through us, with us through the valley of the shadow of death and he will sustain us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, that our health will not fail. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we shall rise on behalf of, uh, with healing of your wings, my God. In the name of Jesus, you will do a new thing in our life. We receive new ideas, new insights, new new visions, new miracles in the mighty name of Jesus. Your name is Alpha. You will go before us in the mighty name of Jesus. Your name is Shama. You will stand by us in every situation. Your name is Omega. You will see us through to the very end. We declare and we are decreeing, Lord, that we are lifted above every demonic oppression. We are loose from all satanic bondage and elevated above all opposing forces in the 
mighty name of Jesus Christ, this is our month of March. We will continue to declare and we will experience favor beyond our imagination. Have an awesome day. God bless you and increase you in Jesus' name. Amen.